Hey guys, welcome to my shedlet. Uh, not a full grown shed like the one behind, more of a baby shed really, a mini shed, a shedlet. Anyway, today I would like to talk to you about Woody. Woody, who I can show you a picture of, was the joy of our life. He came from Batsy Dog's home when he was just a pup and we had the joy and pleasure and privilege of sharing 13 years of our life with him. And uh, sadly, we had to say goodbye to him several years ago now, the very week that I launched my book, The Bad Christian's Manifesto. And much as I love that book, uh, the, the launch of it will forever be overshadowed by the sadness of our having to bid farewell to our very, very dear friend. And Woody was a lot of things, really, to us. But amongst other things, he was my fellow counsellor really he was my counselling colleague because he would very often be with me in the lounge of the vicarage when I was seeing people when people came to me with their sadnesses and their sorrows and their struggles and um, like a lot of animals Woody had this instinctive kind of empathy really this sense of when people were feeling sad or unhappy and he would just go up there and, and snuggle up alongside them, sit at their feet, uh, or even climb on the settee and, uh, and be on their lap. And, uh, you know, people would say to me that they didn't really come to see me. <laughs> they came for a woody session, for some woody therapy, because, um, you know, I suppose woody helped me to see that I didn't need to come up with clever answers for people. That's a pressure that I probably have always tended to, to live under. But he told me, you don't need clever answers. That's not what it's about. It's about presence. It's about being a listening presence, being there for people, being there with people in, uh, in their difficult times. And um, I was meant to give a sermon at St. Luke's, you know, with Woody, the gospel according to Woody, I wanted to call it. And um, I never did get round to it, which is a big source of regret to me, really, um, because, well, you know, I could have done it. People said to me, well, do it anyway. Well, I could have done that, but, you know, it wouldn't have had Woody there. <laughs> and his presence, his charisma was a huge part of what that message would have been about. The gospel according to Woody would be a gospel of contentment because he was a very contented creature. It would have been a, a gospel of reveling in life, um, of being present with people, of empathy, of, of faithful love, unconditional love and companionship. Um, but also uh, a gospel of no regrets because like other creatures, he didn't really have regrets. He, he didn't, that wasn't part of his psyche. He just lived moment by moment. And even in this regret that I feel, Woody taught me something about seizing the moment. Um, you know, regret can be a really bad thing. It can be something that haunts us, that hangs over us for years, for decades. I've known people who've gone most of their life with this haunted feeling of regret. And it's very undermining, very negative, because it stops us living fully in the present moment, because we're kind of living in the past, albeit... Uh, you know, with a great deal of sorrow. David White, who I, I quote quite often, I quote, use his poems in, in The Holy Shed and elsewhere, he, he sort of says that, that regret actually needn't be seen in that negative light, that regret is really, he says, a faculty for paying attention to the present and the future. Don't you think that's wonderful? A faculty for paying attention to the present and the future. Um, you know, I've, I used a song recently in the Holy Shed by Carrie Newcomber that has a line in it that says, Life's just a twinkling, that's for certain, but it's such a fine thing. It's a great line. But, you know, life is a twinkling, but actually moments are really very little twinkly things, aren't they? They're past, just like that. They're gone before we even realise it. And um, I, th I think the important thing in life, you know, is to is to seize those moments, to to do in our moments the things that we really want to do um, because otherwise we we live with this backlog of regret of wishing that we'd done this and wishing we'd done that or wishing we hadn't done 
this or that. And so it, it is important uh, in life that we learn to, to seize moments. Um, but even when we miss them, even when we miss the opportunities, it's important that we don't allow regret to be that negative energy that bogs us down. But rather, as David White says, use it as a faculty for focusing on now. So here's the gospel according to Woody, really. The gospel according to Woody is, don't feel bad about what you didn't do or what you did do. Concentrate on what you can do now. Because while you worry about the past, you're missing the chance to live more fully now. And I think that's a really sad thing. It's a sort of loss of life, really. So save your life by living it as fully and completely as you can in this present moment.